Good morning everyone, Fresh Eggs here and welcome back to another episode on Chillington Challenge and it is 20 to 6 in the morning, we're down at the yard, we've just fired up the T7 and we're just putting the trailer away after the great demand for the wheat. So we are quite low on, on wheat now as well leave that there. I'm going to disconnect. We need to extend the rent time. Three hours. So let's extend that. Seven. Let's get this filled up. And uh, what we need to do is we need to crack on with uh, the potatoes. But we're not going to do it all. Um, we might have to uh, extend it again. at some point. So I hope you all enjoyed the live stream yesterday. It was, uh, I enjoyed it. It was good. So what we're doing is we're filling back up the, uh, the cedar for the potatoes down at field 10. We do need to rent out uh, a forage wagon. A big one. Um, and start collecting at some point but I want to get this field done because it's costing us money to keep this rented you see um, not that we don't uh, you know we don't have the money for it at the moment to be rented but I'm just going to leave this this here because it's a brand new day and obviously I will forget but, so let's do it whilst I'm it's in my head let's fire up the 698 Two bales, two silage bales to get them sold before we forget. We do need to make some more silage bales. We've got two, four, we've got three days. Four days, this is the... Yeah, so we need to really make some silage bales, I think, to be quite honest. So we do need to make them. Also, guys, um, this episode is Monday's episode, and this is all uploaded on a Monday. I'm aware of that, and the reason for that is because we are replacing the Father and Son episodes. Don't panic, don't panic, not for this, just for this week, okay? Because uh, uh, Lewis has had his uh, PC taken off him for misbehaviour, so that's the reason behind that. So, we have got Chelton Challenge Monday to Friday. Uh, this is Monday's episode. So let's just put this, put the six nine eight there. I do like the shut off sound of the uh, the six nine eight. It's good. So we're doing well. We're in a we're in a good situation at the moment. Um, it's just just let's let's crack on with it. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll get down to field ten. Uh, carry on this fine morning planting some potatoes so I need to talk to you guys about the tractor what we're doing about the tractor uh, in regards to taking it or buying another tractor for Meadow Valley. So I had a, an idea last night, what I mean by taking it, I mean taking the T7. So we take the T7 to Meadow Valley and that is the tra the second tractor. Then we buy a bigger one, a more powerful one, for... did we just flip up in the air there? For the main yard at Chellington. 
Um, so let me know what you think. I mean, this T7 is more than capable for all the other big jobs up at uh, Meadow Valley, definitely. Um, I have asked Tony as well last night um, for to find us. Um, I want a pair of Chrome mowers. Um, so I'm looking for a pair of them. I said, how much? He said, how much are you looking for spend? I said, no more than six to eight thousand. Uh, right. Okay, leave it with me. Um, so that's that's what that's about. I do like this. That is nice. That is nice, is that, isn't it? In fact, you know what? It's that nice. I am going to take a screenshot. <laughs> oh, I could use it for the the thumbnail. But look at that. It's brilliant. Right, let's get it. Let's get it done. Love it. Uh, right now, so oh, that's the one. Right, and I want to be on the tire tread there, and then I just want to lower that. Is that working? Is that right? Am I doing that right? Is that a lot? I don't think it's going to catch. No, we are leaving a little bit there, aren't we? Let's just. Uh, make sure I'm doing. I'm sure. That's it. In the middle. So yeah. Um, the tractor. Do we take the T7 to uh, Meadow Valley? Use that as the second tractor. Because we've got a Massey Ferguson 3080 up at Meadow Valley. Um, with a front loader attached. Be modified. Um, do we take the T7 or do we buy another T7 or something like that and save up or do we do we buy up do, do we buy up do we save up and say buy something like one of the Fen 7 7 series 700 series you know like the 240 one or something like that and, and have one of those or do we save up for a Massey Ferguson like the 7726 uh, we do need a cedar, we can still rent out a cedar for now, we're renting out a cedar, we're renting out uh, a bigger forage wagon, they're, they're two things which I think we do need. Um, so that's something to uh, to think about. Uh, we do need a sprayer, uh, a larger sprayer, I think uh, a wider sprayer for these fields is a lot more suitable. Because we do need to start speeding up uh, the whole... the whole process of um, let's have a look I never think here well, I'm going to reverse right ok right and then I can just press Z that's it and then we're off so yeah like I was saying um, about the tractors let me know leave leave your comments below guys let me know what you think uh, to the, the tractor situation let's call it the tractor situation do we take this to Meadow Valley and do we get um, a Massey Ferguson for example obviously I'm going to say Massey Ferguson now. Um, or do we get you know like a, a John Deere you know, with not a, I like I do like John Deere's not as much as Massey Ferguson, of course. But my, my top three tractors are Massey Ferguson, Fen, and John Deere. John Deere's come a long way in uh, in my taste for tractors. I've got to admit, uh, we've got a New Holland. You know, we've got that. We've got a we've got a Ford. We've got a couple of Masseys. Um, do we get a John Deere, or do we try to stick to one brand? And do we get two big New Hollands? Uh, we don't have many many hours, many days left on the McCormick which is in front of us now um, so that's something we need to really consider what we're doing because we are going to lose that tractor within the next couple of days um, we need to we do, we do need to think about what we're doing with it because once that tractor's gone, we do need to replace it we have the money, so the timing for the timing really has been perfect for every demand really I've got to admit So, 
Yeah. It's, it's, it's playing on my mind a, a lot, guys. We need to definitely think about what we're doing uh, with the tractor situation. Because I, me personally, I'm willing to, to save up another 100, 130,000 and uh, just plod on as we are. Get the root crops in, get them harvested, get the rent stuff out. We might have to rent some stuff out, obviously, not when we plan. But. But the whole the whole point of us uh, buying them a tractor, so we've got two tractors up at Meadow Valley. We need a pair of mowers. Tony is looking into a pair of mowers for me. Anything between six to eight thousand pounds, roughly. You know, really old pair of crone mowers, something like that. So hopefully he finds me because he, he's all he's got he's probably got some. He said this was on last night, late last night. You know when I told him. So hopefully he gets back to me today or tomorrow, that's Tuesday, and uh, we, we take it from there. So, yeah, I'm thinking it through my mind, I don't know whether you can tell or not, but, but you know, I mean, let's have a look at the situation where we're at now. So, we're planting our first lot of root crops, potatoes. We have field nine opposite the road behind us, which is a big field and that's for sugar meat, that's going to take some planting. Um, so once that's done, we've got both root crops in place, uh, then we have to figure out, are we going to harvest straight away? Do we harvest field six, which is, is it wheat? Let's have a quick look at the figures just whilst we're here. Let's have a, so we've got 24,000 of wheat and rape, so rape is 99, so we need to really think about getting Dale's stock levels back up so let's have a look what we've got so field six is wheat look so I think after we've we've um, we have planted field 10 we should harvest field six then again we're short on bales as well so we need some bales we need to cut uh, I think we should do field. I think we should do field 20, just above field 10. Look across the river, right in front of us. Look on the map. And then what we'll do is, because it's not a big field, and we'll get you know a good bunch of 10, maybe 12, something like that, 14. Um, you know, uh, silage bales. Um, and that will put us on for us to, f to harvest field six. So we get some of that back in stock. Once we've harvested field six, in between all these guys, we need to pick up the loose straw in field 17 to get some more money back. And I think we should harvest field one of Ray to bring that lo those levels up again. Then we're going to replant Ray and wheat back in the same fields so wheat will have uh, six will have wheat and one will have uh, rate back into it now normally I do prefer to do crop rotation every time but I think it's just more convenient for us to have the same crops wait for them to be harvested wait for them to grow then harvest them again because uh, we are putting we are putting ray in I guess we could put maize in field one because when I think about it we are putting rape aren't we in field 15 which was the barley field uh, the wheat field and now we're off to uh, field 17 for maize is that right is it, I'm just trying to think it through guys what we're uh, How, how, how we're looking at the situation, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're, we're, we've done a few lines whilst we've been talking about the situation and what, what, what we've got coming up and so forth, which is good.
I've got to admit, these ridge markers do help quite a lot. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start using these where I can. Without a doubt. It's been fertilised. Yeah, so I've been reading some of the comments and for potatoes, planting potatoes. So let's say you've got this was maize, right? Uh, so we've got maize, we do the harvest, and then what we do is we spread manure after the harvest of the maize. We plough it in, and then we run sa uh, slurry over the top of it, and then we just cultivate and then plant potatoes. From what I'm gathering on the comments and the feedback. So we'll have to we'll look into that for next time. Uh, sugar beet, that's been cultivated and, and, and fertilised already, so we can't really try anything out on, on that field. Plus it's quite a big field. And as you guys know, I think we've only got, is it 20, 25 cows? We do need to check the levels as well there, guys. Just, just, just to double check what we're, uh, what, what we're doing. around here with all these bushes and so forth but I'm back on track so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this side here I'm down to 10% so I'm going to have to go refill I don't want to rent out another day on this cedar, this potato cedar. So yeah, we've got... I think we're in a good situation. Money's good. We're doing the root crops for Meadow Valley now. We can start to turn this attention towards pigs and beef. Beef and pigs, whichever way around. Uh, so we can start looking into that. We can start utilising Meadow Valley Farm. We're, we're getting a pair of mowers soon for up there. We've already got a tractor up there. We've got uh, a full stock of straw bales. We do need to take some hay bales. I don't think we've taken any hay bales yet to Meadow Valley. So we've got that to do. It's not going to make it to the end. That doesn't matter. We can... Uh, oh, we might do it. Oh dear, no. Oh, so close. Right. Let's head back to the yard and continue this. It's not the biggest cedar. Oh, there's a little gap there, you see that? I did. But one of those things, isn't it? I guess it's... I guess we could put the... Why is it high revving like that? Ooh, that little weird. Anyway, let's get the McCormick, get it attached to the cultivator. We'll take this back to the yard as well, guys. Let's have a quick look how long we've got left on this bad boy. Two days, 23, three days. So I think we've got enough time to get some silage bales made and so forth. Follow us then, McCormick. You've served as well. You get through there like that? Alright. Good lad. 
lovely morning. I love the sun uh, shine, the, you know, the actual brightness and so forth. I just love it every morning. I mean, look at this, quarter past seven in the morning. We've been down to field ten. Um, and we're planting potatoes. It's just... Uh, I don't know. I love it. I just love it. I really do. <laughs> I really do like it. Let's just put the hazards on. See if I'll. Hey. <clears throat> okay. Let's get filled back up. We'll take this back down to the yard. Uh, back down to field ten. We'll park up the McCormick when we get back. This here. It's turned out to be a really nice day. Okay. Let's take that off. And let's put this back. There we go. And then let's put the Put them before me. I tell you what, we'll put the comic over here just for now. So it's going to get used in, I think, the next episode or the episode after. Okay, guys, we are going to leave it there. I'm going to get this filled up. Okay, but we're going to leave it there for this episode. Okay. I do love, I do love the look of. Every time I look, put my eyes on that thing, 698, I just love it. I just love looking at it, especially in the in the yard like that, parked up. Get all goose pimples. Not afraid to say it, you know. I'm a grown man, you know. I, c I can share that kind of thing with you, you know. All right. So guys, nice little think. Going through the situation, what we're doing, how we're doing it. Look at the tractor situation. Leave your comments below, please. Let me know if you should take the T7 to Meadow Valley, or should it stay down here at Chellington? And we need to look into how much we're willing to spend on another tractor. Me personally, I think it's a good idea for us to take. The T7 to Meadow Valley. I don't want to. It's a nice tractor. It's 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 really suitable around the Chillington yard. Um, I think it might be a little bit underpowered, maybe, but it size of it and stuff. I don't know. I think it's just right for Meadow Valley. But then we can go and then really focus and save up and concentrate on what kind of tractor we want up here. A big, nice tractor such as the 7726. Well, it's not big, big, but it's 200 and. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is actually. The 7726. Is it 240? 250? 200? I don't know. Something like that. Um, so we're definitely looking. In, I think we should definitely look for something between 250 and 300. Um, or we can get, a, a, you know, a nice John Deere, a nice 300 horsepower John Deere, a 7530. Something like something along, along those lines. Um, so yeah, leave your comments below, guys. We've got 119,000. Uh, we're focusing on planting root crops to sugar beet, so we're going to use a little bit of money as well for the rental of the sugar beet cedar. Uh, once those have been planted and ready to harvest, we'll be doing potatoes first and making a start up at Meadow Valley. So at that point, we need to look into a tractor because the tractor, this tractor will either go in there or stay in and buy a new one for Meadow Valley because that's where we then have got the resources, we've got the root crops, we can take the grain, we can take, you know, all the rest of the requirements. We need another water balancer. That's not that's not a problem. They're only seven or eight thousand. Uh, another tank. So we need to buy one of those. Um, I am going to sell the one we've got, the older one. It's not big enough. So we are quite close to getting Meadow Valley up and running. Um, so it's decision time. What we're doing about the tractor. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been a, it's been a good episode. It's been a good morning. It's been a good start to the morning on on the, on the farm. And I'm off back to the field now. I'm going to finish off that side and then I'm off to get some breakfast. I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. That's Tuesdays. Hope you have a good day and bye for now.